Good evening and welcome to our first live of 2021. Where did that go? <laughs> I really hope that you have had a fabulous Christmas and New Year and we are welcoming in some new energy, some new intentions because it's not changed as much as we had maybe hoped for in January, but that's okay. There's nothing we can do. So, about the situation, what we can do, however, is focus on ourselves, focus on the journey that lies ahead. Like there is a certain amount of power that kind of comes when we go into a new year. We, it's almost embedded into us, I think, as, as in society, in ourselves, passed down through generations. That it's like line in the sand, new year, new me. Probably not the biggest fan of new year, new me. I see it as new year, renewed energy. It's time to get refocused, it's time to reassess and get excited. <laughs> like, if there's any time to begin to move forward, it's right now. And I'm going to share a little bit about goal setting because I'm probably not traditional as most with, with as, as most coaches when it comes to this side of things. I very much believe and do set goals a lot. I would say that that comes down to the entirety of my success is down to setting goals, visualizing, taking the inspired action, etc. But when I used to be, and this is the same with clients, when I used to just be a goal getter, what I mean by this is I would set the goal and I would go get it no matter what. If it meant pulling all nighters, if it meant not being present, this is so horrible to say, but I'm just being honest, not being present all the time with family and friends, even saying no to going out with people because I would genuinely be like, no, I've got to stay home. It was very much hustle, <laughs> how I used to work many, many moons ago. And what I have discovered through personal development, definitely through getting in touch more with my spiritual side, is actually that is not where fulfillment lives. That isn't even where like long-term goals live. And it's certainly not where you want to be forever. We probably all know someone that is still that hustler. There's a lot of hustling going on right now on Instagram and people are like, right, let's do this. But when it comes to that long-term game, it's, it's, it's just not sustainable. So this, I'm just going to share a little bit about what I feel will not only help you to achieve your goals, but help you to feel fulfilled no matter what happens. Help you to be aligned to your goals and even opportunities outside of what you may not see, of, of what you may not visualise for yourself yet. Because over the years... I have definitely gone after particular goals and when they didn't happen back in the day, it would be devastating. It would be, I'm not good enough. I should have worked harder. Why didn't this work? I need a formula. I need this. I need that. And it was always very much like, okay, I just need to do more. Where actually now the last few years, the less you try to make it happen, that's less resistant energy, the more likely you are to actually achieve it and achieve it easier. There's none of the resistant energy there when you follow what I'm going to say um, or what I'm going to share with you now. So I would definitely say it's not necessarily about achieving the set goal that you go for, especially this year. So if I was going to offer you any advice for 2021, it would be this set goals, set big, courageous goals that even right now, Boris Johnson would fall off his chair and laugh and be like, really? Let's just see how that, no. I'm gonna set this and I'm gonna prepare me for this because it's in that preparing, it's in that believing, it's 
in that being courageous. It's in that no matter what, I'm still going to go for this attitude and energy and the vibration of that. That is going to attract the good stuff to you. That is going to attract more of what's aligned to you than being sat at home going, I better wait till spring. Boris is talking a lot about spring. So I'll wait till then and then I'll see if I can travel or I'll see if I can go after this job or I'll just make do for now. You're just going to make do and you're going to have the exact results as you are getting right now if you stay in that mindset, that energy and that perception. So I'm going to share with you five little steps. Did I write down five? Yes, I did. Number one, be courageous. Set the goal. Think outside the box. It may not be completely doable right now, but imagine if it was, whatever that is for you. And the key thing here is to begin to practice, moving on to the next one. Set the goal and visualize the process, not just the outcome. To some degree, let go of the outcome. It's not gonna be life or death. I hope not, but the goal that you set, let's not make it life or death. Let's see this as a refocus. Let's see this as a reset for yourself. So be courageous, set the goal, which you've been meaning to. Visualize the process. Who do you need to become to achieve the goal? And those are your goals. Those habits that that person needs to achieve that goal, the focus that that person you needs to achieve that goal, that's where you wanna be focusing. Because when you're focusing on becoming the person who is able to attain that goal, doesn't matter what happens. You can change to a different thing. You're not necessarily gonna be disheartened because you're no doubt gonna be more courageous, brave, strong, that sense of confidence, self-belief. You're going to be a magnet for more things in your life. That's where the law of attraction comes in. When we focus solely on goals and we're like, oh God, I hope it happens. I'm going to try. I'm going to resist an energy. We're literally giving off this radar of, I'm going to try. Whereas if we're focusing and visualizing the process, it's about who you become in the way, on, on the way. Then practice believing on a daily basis. This was what I have done for many years. So much of my success has come down to saying it ahead of time. I have, and I'm gonna get this out very soon, over the next few months, and I'm gonna share my journals from the last three to four years. There are pages upon pages, journal upon journal, where I have written down, I am an author. I am a best-selling author. It started with, I am going to write blogs. I am going to share my blogs. And then over time, it just got braver and braver and braver. I am, and I would, I am a coach. And this was when I hadn't even done my diploma. And before I'd done all the qualifications, I was literally like, I think I want to help people, but I... I've heard of like coaching, but I don't, I would just write it. I want a uh, speaker. I spoke all over the place and it started as a belief. I used to have this little niggly voice often say like, no one would listen to you. You have no idea what you'd talk about. Of course, I didn't know what I would talk about. I hadn't prepared anything. This is always what I have to ask people when they're like, oh God, I could never do that. I could never speak on stage in front of people. Why? Oh God, I have nothing to talk about. Well, of course you don't. You've not prepared anything. You've not practiced. You've not researched. You've not, of course you haven't. Like, why would you have? Pull it out of your back pocket. Don't think that just because you've not prepared something or because you've not trained in or because you're not there yet, it's not achievable to you. And I'm going to I'm going to dig them out and it will have the dates on and these crazy phrases that looking at the time was like, what is this? If anyone else was to see this, this is ridiculous. And now those things have become a reality. And yeah, all the way through to like getting pregnant. <laughs> all of that has come through practicing, believing it's possible. And when that energy aligns with the thing that you want, that's how it works. So it's about practicing that process. I would actually definitely use the word practice there. And then take inspired action. So you've set the goal. 
we're working on becoming that person. We are taking the daily tiny steps working towards being that person. It is the micro goals, really. We're believing. We're taking the action. And when you focus not just on the big mountain that's ahead, which is the goal, which is what so many people do, they then, at the first little obstacle, go, oh, it's too big, it's too scary. What if I fail? What if people judge me? We're going to release and we're just going to focus on that tiny little bit of action. Picking up the phone, sending the email, putting your trainers on, speaking to the person. Whatever that goal looks like for you. Getting the veg out the fridge, ready to prepare it. We don't have to see the whole meal. We just need to see the little ingredients one at a time. And as you're doing it, that's when you get the desired result. And like I said before, sorry, this always cracks me up. My Fitbit often thinks I'm doing way more than I am because I talk with my arms. <laughs> it's great. Um, and lastly, let go of the outcome. I always found that really hard to get my head around because I was like, so I need to set a goal, focus on achieving the goal, but let go of the outcome. Like it took me a little while to get my head around this. What I mean by let go of the outcome is we're gonna let go of any possibility of it being a win or a fail, right or wrong. That if it, it, it just is what it is. You're gonna set the goal and that's it. We're just gonna go. We're just gonna take the inspired action. You're going to practice believing. We're going to think if I was a person who was gonna be achieving that goal, what would I be doing today? How would I be thinking today? How would I be feeling today? That's where you want your energy, not the outcome, the goal, what ifs, because it tends to be loaded with the what ifs. What if it doesn't happen then when I set the goal? What if someone laughs? What if I get judged? What if it doesn't work? It will work if you become that person that is capable of achieving that goal. That's all we need to focus on. And this is where, when it comes to goal setting, I, I, I mean, I, I work with the SMART goals. It's a very simple, very powerful process. But there's a few things that you can do that actually ease the process. And I hope that that helps you in moving forward for 2021. Um, Pauline, I, hi, I heard someone say today that they had failed their goal already because they missed the first day of an online yoga challenge. I felt so sad reading it. Pauline, I can completely imagine. And let's just take for a moment that if you're sat there and you're like, I've already had a drink or I've already eaten a, the leftover mince pies or I'm gonna wait till whenever. It's about focusing here and now. If that happens, okay, it's what it is. There's nothing I can do, can't rewind time. If we could do that, can you imagine? So this is it. We don't have to wait till tomorrow. We don't have to wait till Monday. Reset, reconnect, connect to your goal, connect to why you're doing it. Reconnect in the moment. That's gonna completely change your outlook on what you're doing and where you're going. Um, okay, so yes, creating my website and business card made me call myself a coaching consultant. I remember this. It took a bit of courage putting it down, even though that is what I do. It's bizarre, isn't it? And even now, I think because it was something that I had focused on for so long, way ahead of it ever being reality, that even now sometimes it's like, this is, this is crazy. That's why I'm so grateful every single day because it came to fruition, into fruition through believing. And I don't think that there's anything, a bit like Pauline, there's, there's just, I don't think there's anything more powerful than that. It's truly aligned when you are building that from the inside out. Hi, Amy, lovely to see you. So, um, I will love you and leave you there. I hope that this has inspired you for moving forward in 2021. If you are looking at getting some support in your goal setting or creating a vision board, this, in fact, I think everyone who has joined us tonight, bar a few, hello, hello, um, has, has got their vision board ticket at the ready. It's 
Saturday the 9th. It's a three and a half hour workshop. I'm going to be guiding you through everything from looking at reflecting on 2020, what your values are, what do you really want, what are your soul goals, I call them, what's holding you back. We're going to be looking at releasing some limiting beliefs, then visualization process. I'm also going to be sharing a really cool timeline therapy process, just a small one. And then of course, setting the goals. Like what does that look like? Then, not only that, you will be a part of a seven day private Facebook group where you will have me there for ongoing support for those seven days where you can ask questions, you can share, have accountability. And we're going to have a little celebration at the end of those seven days because the energy that you take into this year, into every day, but it's at the beginning of the year, the energy that you move forward with, that determines your health, your success, your happiness, your level of fulfillment, every part of you. It's all about that energy. And we're really going to be working on, on bringing that up. So I'm so excited. Don't know if you can tell. <laughs> Paulie's joining us. Amy, so looking forward to it. Fantastic. Um, if you would like the link to join us, do either just comment below. In fact, I'll just share it below. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you then. But either way, have a fantastic week ahead and let's do this. See you soon.